Well, cast is always challenging. For me, it's a big decision-making process. If I know and I'm excited about actor, I know that I have this or that actor for particular production, and then when I prepare production itself, I have already that actor in mind. It helps me a lot to prepare the production itself, and in that case, so I, you know, that uh, Dallas, who's going to perform uh, Dorian Gray himself, uh, I was watching him now, it's like a third year, and I thought he was ready for that. He has that quality, he has that very, you know, uh, the charming character. He's he's beautiful man. He's very young. He's, uh, his 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 energy is unbelievable. Dorian is um, he's capricious, impulsive. Uh, he wants to experience everything. Uh, and uh, the picture, another character, which is also the character for for me, uh, for this production, um, Philip Fletcher. Like there's the, the good angel, bad angel sitting on your shoulder kind of telling you, you know, the portrait in this case would be like the good angel saying, don't do that, don't do that. And, but yet Dorian's gonna do what he wants. Uh, there is gonna be a second uh, show for Rob Smith. Uh, he was playing previously in The Three Musketeers. Basil has been an awesome experience. It's been amazing to play an artist on stage as an artist, right? As a performing artist playing a visual artist and to get inside of his head. And also someone who feels things so passionately and feels things so deeply and um, finding that character and then expressing it not just through the language but also through the body and through the movement. Joe, which is, uh, he plays Henry, really colorful uh, character and Joe doing amazing jobs. So Lord Henry sees in Dorian Gray um, endless potential. He believes that life has everything in store for Dorian Gray and that there's nothing that he won't be able to do uh, as long as he follows his true impulse and his true instincts. Now Lord Henry takes a little, a little hand in, in encouraging what those instincts might be by uh, placing him in situations. He helps to shape Dorian and lead him away from the purity that Basil had first discovered into the grayness and into the decadence and into following his raw, natural desires. We have uh, new members in this cast. Uh, there's Rachel, who is uh, her debut to be in Cinetic. The experience has been incredible. The creative process is so unique um, and as an actor, it's been amazing to walk into the room and feel the amount of freedom that Pata and Ira provide their actors to try new things and to experiment and to figure out what works and what doesn't has been truly extraordinary. Sybil Vane is a young girl of 17 who is innocent and pure and from lower class, which is an important note in their relationship. Um, and she falls madly, passionately in love with this handsome, wealthy, young, good-looking man. He's, he's perfect. And, and he doesn't, he's not aware of his potential, of, of the effect that he has on people, uh, simply by his beauty. And you couple that with his intelligence, and he's unstoppable. Right? He's what the age has been looking for. He's this perfect human being. And it's so ironic because he doesn't mean to be cold and heartless, but he is. With Dorian, there's so many layers and it's kind of like, like a painting, like layering of these different shades and colors and tones that bring out the shadows, bring out the light. Um, and I think Dorian is a very layered character. Dorian eventually gets some blood on his hands uh, as he loses himself in the decadence and the aestheticism uh, that Lord Henry has introduced to him. Lord Henry sees him as a protege, but he's also aware that Dorian is capable of more than Lord Henry could ever achieve himself. Um, there's a great line where Basil says, you know, I don't know why I like you so much. And Lord Henry says, well, I represent all the sins you haven't the courage to commit. And I think that Lord Henry sees in Dorian all the sins that Lord Henry uh, never committed um, when he was afraid or that he can no longer commit because he's not as beautiful or charming as he once was.
we all, like Dorian Gray, you know, somewhere dreams for longer life, for, for eternal life. Right? We're always facing uh, hard choices, temptations. Sometimes we do something, we make some choice and then we regret. And we, it's the it's same, same thing with the Dorian Gray. It's full of uh, lust, love, decadence, temptations. And I think that's going to be most complicated production, one of them, I would say, uh, to bring different um, uh, kind of art forms uh, to tell Oscar Wilde's story, uh, verbally, visually, with movement, with dance, and you name it.